San Salvador we go! Well, sometimes sailing is pure bliss. Other times it can quickly force you to change course. She looks a little, she looks a little green. She might... We did land in paradise, but not without pain. What'd you do? I felt like right on my head there. Welcome to Wally Intrepid. I'm Alex, and this is Corey. Three years ago, we sailed south from Canada as newbie sailors. Now we share our love of travel with our baby girl, Coral, as we explore new areas of the Bahamas. Join us for our weekly adventure. Good morning from Long Island in the Bahamas. It was early, but we had a long day ahead of us. Excited for today? Yeah, got my fishing lures ready for us rounding the point. The sun's coming up, gonna start up the engine and get going. The sun wasn't quite up yet, so it was nice to have yesterday's track to follow out of Calabash Bay. We could see the corals, but not until we were right on top of them. Salvador, but San Salvador. <laughs> Woo! Fish, fish, fish! The west side of Long Island was nice and calm, and Coral was still asleep in the Weber. That's the Columbus Monument, where we walked to the other day. It was nice to get a different angle. Sweetie, how's your morning going? You just woke up and we're moving, eh? Yay, we're moving! San Salvador, here we come! Are we on course? We are on course. We are going to be pretty much hard on the wind all day long, but I think we'll be able to sail at least. That's the main thing, because it's a long motor if we have the motor. <laughs> San Salvador is quite out of the way, but we heard it had phenomenal reefs. So we got ready to sail over 50 nautical miles east at an average speed of five knots. That meant about a 10 hour day which is why we left before sunrise. As we started losing our protection from Long Island, the swell really started to kick up. Okay, my lovely. You don't enjoy this one bit, do you? She looks a little, she looks a little green. She might yeah, be sick here. Be sick. Oh. Poor Miss Coral. She doesn't like the sea state. No, as soon as we're a bit more close hauled and a little bigger swell, she gets seasick. She's doing good now. But it looks like it might be a bit of a rough kind of crossing for her. I mean, it is like four to five foot swell and we are way, beating way more into the wind than what it was predicted for. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna stop in Concepcion for the night just to break it off a little bit. It's not too, too far. 
And then tomorrow the wind is supposed to be a bit lighter. The swell should ease off a little bit and we'll carry on to San Salvador. And the wind should be more from the south tomorrow, which is supposed to be southeast today. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's gonna be more more south than southeast tomorrow, yeah. so it should be slightly better angle. Yeah. It's kind of cool how you can travel with the winds. It's just free of charge. Mind you, you do have to choose carefully where you go because you might not be able to go, or you'll have to do this. It's so special, like we got a sailboat because we, not necessarily because of sailing, because we both didn't know anything about sailing, but because we wanted the mean to travel to explore the world, and the van or bus idea was just, we would have ended up having to buy lots of fuel, gas, and sailing seemed just like a cool thing to do, just be able to go anywhere with the wind. So it's neat to be doing this. And I was just looking out to the horizon. Right now actually I'm staring at the waves because they're pretty big. And from my angle I just see them build. And some of them break. Like that one. <laughs> and it's just, ah, uh, it's special. And it's kind of more comfortable. We've adjusted our angle right now so that we go to a different spot called Conception Island. So, and Coral is just asleep, just enjoying her little bit of sucking. And life is good. Well, the whole, I think it's a couple of maps over there. Yeah, there's a few people over there, I noticed. Someone's feeling much better. Yay, Coral! <laughs> it's way more calm, too. I mean, so. Decent waves, but way better. Because we really don't want to see you upset. No. Mommy and daddy feel really bad when you're being sick. Because it's our choice to leave, and then we put you through that. It's not fair. Tom okay. Tomorrow will be a better passage to San Salvador, I promise. <laughs> and if promise? not, if not, we'll hang out in Conception for a little yeah. while. Conception Island looks like there's a lot of nice reefs around it, and it's a it's all a Park, so there's no fishing, but that probably means that there's some amazing sea life. I think we'll see. Yeah, Corey is frantically pulling in all the lines because we are about to enter the park. I should have pulled in the line a little sooner, but I was hoping to catch something right at the wall of where it goes from almost 300 meters to 20 meters, but it was nothing. Oh well. Well, the plan was to anchor right over here by the coral heads uh, north of the anchorage that's going to be much more protected. But I'm thinking we're going to not do that because it's a little surgy here still. It seems to be getting a little better the closer we're getting to shore, which is, you know, understandable. Uh, yeah, we're just going to scout out the coral heads on our way in just from the surface here and uh, just dingy over because it can't be more than a half nautical mile back into the anchorage. Looks like there's a nice head right here, actually. Three hours and 45 minutes later, we sailed 20 nautical miles over to the northwest tip of Conception Island into calm water. We drop anchor into paradise with only nine other boats. And we are perfectly timed for cooking lunch without the swell. Conception Island has to offer. 
go up the Make sure to bring sandals on the trail, because there's little spiky seeds that hurt a lot if they get caught in your feet. Well, I already see the other side of the island. <laughs> Didn't take long, eh? I know, right? Just up the whole hill. Can I expect but this is just stunning there's like beaches on both sides nice white cliffs and the whole ocean and I can see quite a few coral heads so yeah perfect day What'd you do? I just felt there's a rock that broke loose. <gasps> you protected coral. She doesn't oh, yeah. look. I like, hope myself. She look. just got scared. Let me see your head. Do you have a first aid, aid kit of any kind in the, in Not the, in the bag? Day. Not in your bag? No, no. nothing. Alright. How's your head? I don't see any blood. I do I see. A bump, I, think. <laughs> I think this is what let go when she was falling right in here amongst all these sharp rocks. Your head is the most important thing. I know. I feel like a bump. <laughs> I think I'm just more shook right now. You know? That's coral. Uh, she was right on me. I think she got scared. She's got so that's a little bit of your blood. blood. Maybe a little just chafing from the wetsuit. I was just, I didn't want to hit her on the rock. I was like, I'm just gonna... You protected <laughs> Coral, but you beat yourself up. Oh. You all right? Yeah, it's just a little shook. I, it felt like right on my head there. It was... How's your other arm? I think you got, oh, it's your hand. No, it's my, yeah, it's my hand. I think it's my hand and, and leg. my leg. All right, let's go back to the boat. Well, take take a second there. <laughs> Gather your... Now, you know what? It's probably that white truck by the sand. I was by the sand. Over here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, all these rocks are kind of sketch, you know? They break easily. But, yeah, I guess just got to really take our time through this area. Okay. You all right? Yeah, this thing's a little bit... You got your back too. Yeah, I know. Just, I didn't want to. I didn't want to hit coral, so I just let myself fall and protected her. But it's. Oh, and we're gonna be diving. That's gonna sting like hell. We'll go disinfect everything. Yeah, I was in the climbing on the sand there, and one of those rocks came loose, and then I fell in that little hole. So it's that limestoney stuff that's really uh, that falls apart. All right, let's go. <laughs> Don't be upset. I'm so scared of four coral. I didn't, like, I could see myself falling on her on the rock when I broke. I spun around and let my buddy fall backwards. So Ouch. This sucks. Now I'm gonna have to stay out of the water for, just to let it heal up a little bit. Good luck. Just going out, <laughs> no. going in the dinghy, you're gonna get get it wet. Uh, sucks. Okay. Why? Why did I have to go walking over there? Don't beat yourself up. You didn't, you're not hurt. You only hit your head slightly. Yeah. No concussion. No. And no, you no, saved no. Coral. She's sleeping. <laughs> <sighs> you're right. We are 
back on the beach of the east side adventuring. I've got a tent, my wounds are all cleaned up and Carl and I are gonna hang out in the tent in the shade and Corey is gonna go check out the staghorn corals. I'm pretty excited to see what everything looks like. Pearl's new play spot. It's wonderful. Shade and breeze. And look at the view. Sexy Gorgeous. sailor up ahead. Anyway, I'm gonna go check out some staghorn coral. Have fun. Thanks. Well, I think this is really the way to do it. Coral is just having a blast wandering around the tent and grabbing everything in her path. And I've got some good shade in the wind. Oh, I should have done that before. Pearl <coughs> talks to her toys. And she just took her first four steps. Oh, you had it. Come on! See ya! When I'm in the water without a spear, I notice the sea life tends to be a little more relaxed, allowing me to experience these underwater animals a little more close up. A park like this one on Conception Island tends to have more sea life, and in this case, some pretty amazing coral formations. It's really warm other than some cold currents. It's kind of nice, but uh, the visibility isn't the greatest, but it's still kind of cool. Lots of like little cave systems and stuff to explore. With an endless field of elkhorn and staghorn coral heads to choose from, I think you could easily spend months exploring all the different shapes of coral and the abundance of critters and creatures that call this area home. Even this big spiny lobster was casually strutting his stuff out in the open, allowing me to get up right close without fear of becoming lunch. And the lobster. I mean, if it wasn't a park and it wasn't out of season, man, it was probably just the same size as the big one that I got uh, earlier this year. That's pretty nice out there. Uh, none of the coral is alive, unfortunately. Well, I guess. There's new coral growing on the dead coral, so it's kind of alive. With the underwater world of Conception Island partly explored, and not having any intention of getting in the water after my accident, 
we decided to walk the beach. My bleeding cuts were way too fresh for me to go in the salt water. So Coral, you decided to crawl without daddy. <laughs> yeah, she is officially kind of crawling. It's by short little spurs and then she goes on her belly and then she keeps going while doing T-Rex noises. <laughs> Let's communicate. I can't get enough of this island. I think it's my favorite one so far. I mean, last year it was the white, um, white key and the berries, but oh, this is magical. Even though this island hurt the mm, out of <laughs> <laughs> And Coral got seasick on the way here too. Well, a rough start to a wonderful finish. That's it. Oh, it's like hot bath. I know, right? Oh, Coral, you need a hot bath, right? She's like, I'm warm enough. Yes. Not cold at all, eh? No. Look at the little dancing. Happy dance. This is so special. Now we can see our mask. Looks like we have a rope leading to the top of this thing. Definitely don't want to stand up there. That would be a bigger fall. Man, am I supposed to trust that little knot holding on to like this limestone? I don't know. All right, it's tricky. You gotta grab the knot, walk up a couple steps, grab another knot. Uh, uh, all right, uh, all right, one-handed, we did it. Come on up, it's not so bad. I'll, I'll come grab Coral. These unexpected stops while cruising can sometimes turn into the most special ones. Conception Island was really winning our hearts with its postcard perfect views and unbelievable colors. This is why we tend to not over plan our lives, because we might miss out on the magical moments. Pristine, uninhabited, and without cell reception, this island was just the place we needed to rest and to let our poor baby coral get over her seasickness. Look at all those corals, coral! Can you see them all? How Wait. many blues can you count out there? It's, wow! Just even though I don't really want to get in the water with all my cuts, the view is stupendous. Weaving around coral heads was really slow and challenging with the falling tide. But it was a fun game, as if we were weaving through a maze, hoping not to get stuck at a dead end. Ooh. 
We all needed a good meal and a good night's sleep after this starring day full of all sorts of surprises. So it felt great to return home to our small sailboat anchored in paradise. There's nothing more on the spoon. You're gonna get mad in a minute. Let me fill up the spoon for you. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Nice big spoonful. Oh, wow. Coral. Yum. See the treat? <laughs> Little possessed, possessed baby there. No, it's a T-Rex. She's good. <laughs> Wow, look at you, you used to have trouble with that left hand. Coral's got crawling down. Yeah, six months in a week. <laughs> now she's like, I'm tired, daddy. <laughs>